Hello, today I'll be sharing with you my delicious and unfailing banana bread recipe. First, go ahead and turn on your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for preheating. Here we have two bananas, one and a half cup of oatmeal flour, one third cup of melted butter, three eggs room temperature. We'll be using two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, one quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, Two tablespoons of milk, half cup of granulated sugar, one quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix all the dry ingredients together and put them on the side. Now get you another bowl, get your ripe bananas, make sure they're well ripe. If you want them softer than this, you can go ahead and put them in your oven and heat them for about five minutes. Take them out, cool them and then mash them. Let them be very well soft, as if you want to feed a baby. Once you're done with that, Put it on the side as well and before we forget i'll be using this walnut this is a cup of walnut you can bake them or leave them or use them like that i'll be baking it so that it can add flavor to our banana bread recipe get you a bigger bowl pour in your sugar your melted butter your milk lastly your eggs as you can see the bowl is a little messy that's because i started mixing it earlier but yeah, it doesn't really matter which one goes first. The most important thing is to make sure that you mix these things very well. I mean, your liquid ingredients, you have to mix them really, really well. Once you see it for me, then you're good. Adding your mashed bananas, mix it as well for about one to two minutes. See how for me the liquid looks like? This is just perfect. Go ahead and add in half of your oatmeal flour. Mix it preferably with a spatula for me and make sure that there are no lumps in there. Mix them very well. Once it is very well mixed, go ahead and add in the other half of your oatmeal flour. Mix it very, very well. <laughs> See how I'm trying to be fast, but it doesn't really matter. Try to mix in all your flour so that you don't waste anything. You see the dough? See how good it looks? Now add in your baked walnut. Yay! this is just the magic of everything it makes your banana bread taste just perfect makes it very well and then once you're done with that get you your baking pan for this i'll be using a non-sticky pan for sure yet i'm still going to be using butter to grease my pan if you want you can use oil coconut oil for more flavor but i just i just I just prefer the butter for this recipe because it goes just fine with it. See how it looks? Go ahead and add in your other half of your baked walnut. Oh my god. Tell me how does it look? It is so presentable already, right? It is ready to go in your oven. Put it in your oven for at least 50 minutes. Max an hour. This is after 50 minutes. Look at it. Isn't this presentable? And it tastes just so good. The baked walnuts just takes the taste of this banana bread to another level. Trust me, you have to try this. Let's flip this, see how easy it comes out. Look at that. Look at that pan, all clean. Flip your bread. Look at it. Look at it. Tell me what do you think about this. You have to try this. As good as it looks, it tastes just perfect. Just so you can see the inside of our bread, yes, this is how it looks like. It is very well cooked, fluffy, moist, and everything that you think about bread. We've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, comment, share. Click your notification bell for the most recent update. Thank you for supporting me. God loves you. Peace.